a lot of games get released and developers for one reason or another, maybe they don't have the budget, maybe they don't have the time, maybe they just don't want to, um, don't market these games and put them out there. They just say, hey, I made a thing. Let me put it out there and see if you can find it. I've talked to more than one developer who has said the phrase to me, I thought I would put the game out and people would just find it. There's 15 different VR games that came out yesterday. We're going to watch all the trailers for it. If they're good, fantastic. Um, hopefully you'll follow that. A lot of these are going to be on Steam. Follow those, wishlist those. And if they're bad, we'll make fun of them and we'll, we'll kind of, or we'll point out exactly what was wrong with the trailer or some of like the write-ups for it and kind of say, okay, well, this is why I wouldn't be interested in playing this game and then move on. This game is exciting. Iron Man VR is exciting because um, like Among Us that comes out a week from now and um, like Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, like Jurassic World, it is fun to get a big name intellectual property, a big name IP, a big name franchise in virtual reality because that even for just a short amount of time puts a lot more attention on VR as more than just, oh, it's just rhythm games and shooters. This is a new trailer too. This wasn't here. Friday. All systems online. I haven't gotten to that level yet. Played that yesterday. Oh, I'm so glad they put a new trailer out. Next on the list, Shores of Loki. This one has been in App Lab since I think May. Um, it is a puzzle game. Let's see, Shores of Loki is a single player narrative puzzle game that can only be experienced in VR with compelling characters, beautiful cinematic scenes, and surreal worlds. Shores of Loki will transfer you to other dimensions to create visions larger than life. This looks all kinds of cozy. I love that giant figure there, just walking around. Surveying is the work, I guess. Time to rebuild a land that's forgotten. Uh, we're gonna watch the trailer for this game, Kartoffel. Let's see. Guide a group of adorable spuds through a series of challenging and varied levels in this fun puzzle adventure. Each spud has a mind of their own, so it's up to you to manipulate the world around them as they wander, jump, and stumble through it. This immediately gives me Lemmings. And you have to be a certain age to understand what Lemmings is. It's a very old PC puzzle game that was like crack. I loved that game. like the Toy Story soundtrack. Oh no! How thick and adorable. The predominantly large any. <laughs> Why are you judging? Oh, I'm, I'm at the buy this. Theme, we go through these every week, and for better or for worse, um, there's, I mean, just straight up, there's a lot of worse, um, but it's always a good time, it's always a good laugh. All right, Brain Syndrome VR is a FPS bullet hell shooter featuring a cell, a cell shaded art style and an option from a local multiplayer. Why is it local multiplayer? You're dead in the water if you just do local multiplayer. Whole other rant. Even though the game has VR in the title, it can be played without it. The game has more than 12 handcrafted levels ready for you to explore. Take VR out of the name of this, please. Just tag it. Just tag it. Oh. Um. Why is the trailer so aggressive about, too? 
I am not a graphic snob. I appreciate stuff like Roblox and Minecraft um, and pixel art games like uh, like Stones of Harleth. This is not primarily cell shaded to me. This looks like a lot of Steam games that we look at every single week that looks incomplete. Looks like they got like the base model of it up and they said, okay, put it out there. Like it doesn't even look charming to me. It it looks like something that they bought a bunch a bunch of really basic assets or built some basic assets and local multiplayer. This might be a programming limitation of the person who made this game because the fact that the developer and the publisher is a, a name of a guy, so it looks like this is just a one person game. Um, but yeah, this this doesn't look appealing at all. Gladius is an immersive VR sword fighting game set in ancient Rome. As a gladiator, you will choose your weapons, train against different enemies, and finally fight for your freedom in an epic battle against the mightiest warriors and mythical creatures of the time. Win the crown and you will win your freedom. Are you not entertained? I feel like he wanted to put that in that description. Are you not entertained? That, that swamp doesn't look good. Why is this in slow motion? Why is there a gun? Boxing gloves? You said our weapons. That what's the name of that weapon from Halo? I just saw the Halo weapon. Why, why is there a shark? So clearly this is giving blade and sorcery or something like swordsman. Or like arena style. It's been out for a long time, super fun. If it's been out for a long time, why are they just why is it just now being like released on Steam? It's just been early access for a while. This game looked interesting. There's a few things that kind of made me like, yeah, when I watched the trailer, this is something that you can boot up and play for like five to 10 minutes, put it back down and go play something else. And I think there's a market for games like that and games like that definitely should have. Nightmare Hunter falls in the reign of fantasy VR shooting games. You need to hunt incubuses, incubuses, incubuses to crack the nightmare. It becomes stronger within the cycle of battle or death. Battle and death. I automatically went to Monster Hunter because I'm going to compare every game I see to a game I've already played. What was that sound? Oh, this is Those are bees? Okay. Um... Oh, we're launching again? Did the trailer just... Oh, the trailer didn't restart. I thought the trailer restarted. I like how with each section of the trailer, the music got progressively louder. Like, it started really soft. And then it, like, exploded and I turned it down. And then it exploded again when we got to this area and I turned it down again. What? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, where Godzilla come from? Again, it, we're lingering too long on this. Like, we don't need to see what is essentially a whole boss fight in your trailer. Oh, we got more. There's more. So, the description is you need to hunt incubuses to crack the nightmare, become stronger within the battles of the cycle of battle and death. And once again, the trailer totally lets this down. This gives a lot more promise than what I saw in that trailer. That trailer was, let me put a minute, like 45 seconds to a minute of the exact same battle on screen. And not really give you a sense or anything. So I don't know. I don't know. That that's a pass for me. Roost is a first person exploration game where you attempt to unravel the mystery of your new apartment. Y'all know I love my square aspect ratio trailers. This looks like found footage. Pan up to a sky where two very, very tiny sprites come through and now we're back to the beach for no inexplicable reason because it's supposed to be like the mysteries of your house for some reason we went to the beach let's either take sleep pills jesus that's dark 10 21 1995 even in 1995 stuff didn't look this bad why are we lingering on this why does your house have a dungeon what no 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 
you have a house or a mansion like we've seen there's a farm there's a beach there's this massive compound there's a basement how many cars do you have how many doors in that hallway this is not a, you have a full function office what i read and what i'm seeing right now doesn't match not even close how long is this trailer two minutes oof even that free i felt like i got ripped off just from watching that trailer that's how bad that was three quarter space station is a free vr amusement park enjoy space party with friends and play a wide variety of vr games together So they look like knockoff meta meta avatars. Yeah, this is giving rec room vibes, VR chat vibes, just with like worse graphics. Why are these Steam trailers so aggressively loud? Like I have Steam turned almost all the way down, it's still really loud. There's a better attempt at the trailer here, I will say this. This is the third week in a row I've seen someone a, a, a Steam game come out that is essentially a VR chat rec room ripoff. And I, I questioned last week why you wouldn't just build a world within the more popular app, except you can't monetize it and sell it on Steam like you can something like that. I have a hard time seeing this getting traction with what I just saw. If people are going to look at that and go, I'll just go in rec room because nothing about that looked special. Hit stream, wanna make exercise fun? Punch, stretch, squat, and step your way to fitness in a 360 degree game that takes you to stunning locations around the globe. Hit the objects, catch the orbs, dodge the walls, and if you're feeling really energetic, turn squats on. Okay, okay, you got me with the trailer. I refuse to believe anyone exercises on the quest with that shitty head strap. I refuse to believe anyone exercises on quest with that head strap on. Not terrible. I wonder if Apple's gonna sue him for having this app, his uh, Apple Watch on screen. I'm not a workout maven. I really don't have much to say about that other than it looked good. And after the last four or five trailers we watched, something that looks good is very, very welcome. Uh, Paradiddle. Diddle, you put diddle in your name, that's bold. Play drums in VR without the limitations of the real world. With 50 plus realistic percussion instruments, a built-in rhythm game mode, and lineup of lessons, our version 1.0 release makes it easier and more fun than ever to learn how to drum. Here we go. Of course, they're leaderboards. I kind of wish that they leaned more into the instruction part of it because it specifically says easier, more fun to learn how to drum because there are several drum rhythm games out there that just straight up look better than this. Mass Drums is out. Uh, Ragnarok is a huge one. And I was thinking if this went more in like the instru the instructional part of it, uh, it could work a little bit better. But that's a $25 ask when both Ragnarok and Smash Drums are cheaper than that and frankly look better than that. So uh, I struggle with that one. Roboco is a wholesome sandbox game about designing and building robots to serve the needs of squishy, hapless humans in the world of tomorrow. Build the robots. All challenges, like how to wave your arm around. Fantastically. I mean, they didn't reach down to grab the sandwich. What's with the what's with the people doing this in that middle, that middle bottom panel? Mini derp. Steam early access. Oh, it's in early access. This game is in early access. Let's see the price for $20. The problem is when you charge 20 bucks for a game that clearly is, it's going to take some time and you're going to be working on this game for upwards of a year, if not longer. This looks to me like a game and I'm just conjecturing here that may not ever get out of early access. And that price is a big part of it. Because I've seen so many games launch with a high early access price and they never escape because they don't sell enough to 
um, to basically warrant them continuing to work on the game, and they end up going back to a regular full-time job. Desperate Vladivostok is a bullet hell VR action in the post-Soviet era, filled with primal ultraviolence, furious fights, and adrenaline gunfights. Merge yourself in a world where you are alone against everyone. Get him! It's a torpedo! I will openly admit I love the, the shell shading style of Borderlands, so graphically I like this. I mean, you say bullet hell, but not a this single bullet has been fired at you. Find me. Okay, then let's shoot 40, 46 scenarios. Hands. Enough bullets for everyone. Literally, no one's shooting at him. Oh, I just saw one shot. One shot just came at him just now. <sighs> Done. Looks like that's all. Okay, that Last ending was kind of a weird dismount. Um, graphically, that looked interesting. Um, I would be curious. It said 46 scenarios and yada, yada, yada. I'd be curious if it was like an arcade style where you just play through a bunch of levels and the game's over. Or there's an actual story to follow there because the description is giving story. Uh, the trailer didn't let the description down. I love the graphics on it. We'll follow that one. I want to go home. Can't stand working overtime anymore. Must find some properties to get rid of this ugly office. Be aware of the mean boss. Don't get caught by him. Working overtime late at night. Must work in front of workstation. All okay, you should leave that text up there longer. What? What? What is this? What is this? Like seriously, this feels like everyone's trying to get their game out before the holidays. But what are we doing here? For a second, with small salary mortgages, you're leaving this. You need. You're leaving the text up for like three seconds. How long was that text up for? And now you just shot your boss. Hello world, hello world. Oh, the trailer's over. It didn't fade the plaque. Okay, I was waiting for something else to happen there. Uh, okay. Um, that looked like hot garbage. Moving on. Come on, give me something. Faster Dead VR. Welcome to the dark world of Faster Dead VR. Arcade Auto Simulator Plus Shooter. You'll find an upgrade and customization system. Angry zombie pedestrians. Why? And surviving car owners and much more to enjoy much more to enjoy gameplay using your vr headset so like state of decay meets twisted metal i mean it looks okay like visually it's fine this looks like a mobile game like this this looks like a mobile game this doesn't Okay, um, yeah, not every game needs to be first person, but that, that looked like a game I would play on my phone. That doesn't look like a VR game. That literally looks like a game that um, is in one of those ads that you see for other games, and it's like, hey, download, click here to download. You download that, and you get this. That, that's exactly what this game looks like. This is a rough, rough slate this week. All right, so that is the weekly roundup of new VR releases. I hope you saw something that you may have an interest in. There were one or two that I'm going to follow. Overall, this is a pretty rough slate this week. Uh, hopefully next week is better.